Welcome back, Bloomers. This is Will from Art by Will Scott. At this point, we're going to be starting on the rest of the head for Yoshi. You should have his nose done already and two eyes, okay? So if you only have one set of eyes, go ahead and go back to the previous video and do another one, okay? Just like it, because we're going to be putting them both together. It's going to end up looking like that. Before we can be able to connect everything, of course, we have to finish all the pieces. We're going to be doing the cheeks today. And I'm going to be using the same um, the same three looms uh, in the same configuration that we did for the shoes. Right? But we're only going to be needing seven pegs, okay? Just these seven, seven, seven rows, okay? We don't really need the outer ones. So if you want to take it up, apart and set it up as a seven row, uh, section that you can go ahead and do that. Okay, we're gonna be working on one cheek at a time. And the first one, of course, we're gonna be working with double bands unless I tell you to, okay? So, start with two green ones. We're gonna put them right here on these two, okay? And let me just go ahead and zoom in a little. Okay. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab two green ones again and you go three times up. That's one, that's two, and that's three, okay? Now you're gonna go the opposite direction. You're gonna grab two green ones, and you're gonna go down twice. One, two, all right? And now you need two eight ones, and you're gonna continue that with the third, the third time. Okay, now we're gonna go this direction three times over with, with Double bands and green. That's one. That is two. And that is three. Now this direction. But instead of using double bands, you're gonna go to one band, okay? And you're going to cap it. That's one. We have one white one. Cap it. That is two. One white one, cap it. That is three, okay? All right, so now moving on to this row, we're gonna go across four times in green with double bands, okay? It's one, two, three, four, okay? Now this next one, we're gonna go across also, which is once with two greens. And then four times with two whites, okay? One, two, three, four. Notice how we're going in this direction, okay? So of course we're gonna stop right here. That means we're gonna do five times in white, okay? So that is one, two, double bands, okay? Three, four, five, okay. Next row, that's gonna be four times in white. One, two, three, four. Sorry, five times, five times in white. Okay, now this one is gonna be four times in white. Okay, double bands again, it's one. Two, three, four, okay. So they should all be going to this direction, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and close it up. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna go ahead and grab one white one, cap it. And start from this edge going toward the middle, okay? Again, one white one, cap it. Right there. One white one, cap it. Right there. Now this direction, okay? Again, we're gonna be capping. So go ahead and grab one green one, cap it. Another green one, cap that one. And another white one, cap that one.
Now we're gonna put a cap band right here four times, okay? So that's gonna be one, two, three, four times. Okay. We're gonna be putting our holding bands now. First holding band will be with green. We're gonna be doing them all with double bands, okay? Two bands. And it's gonna be pointing towards the right, okay? So this direction. Next one's gonna be in white, so grab two whites. It's gonna be right under it, and of course, just like we did for the last time, it has to be touching the previous triangle at some point. Okay. Now, green ones. Right there on those, okay. Continue on, we're gonna go with white down here, and another white one at the top of that one. And now a green one at the top of that one. Okay. Now that you have those rows, we're gonna go ahead and switch our, our, our triangles. We're gonna flip them around. So the next one is gonna be in white and it's gonna face the opposite direction, okay? Continue on in that direction, going upwards. And then, oops, the next one's gonna be a green one. So two whites and one green on this row. Next one is going to be two whites. It has to be touching those, so it has to be right here. Another white one. Right there. Starting again at the bottom. Again, we're going to do two whites and one green one. Next row, two whites. Next one again, two whites, one green one. Okay, now two whites. And the last one again is going to be white. So two bands. All right, once she gets done, let's go ahead and start looming. From right here, you're going to go through the cap band and grab the first two. Should go be going up. Next two. Next two. Alright, and now this side. First two. And the next two. This one. And then this. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and start looming this one up three times, so it's one, two, three, okay? This one I'm going to loom up again also three times, so that's one, two, three, okay? Now this one I'm going to loom up. Now the middle one. Okay. Now right here. Gonna grab the green ones. and then the white ones in that same slot. Now I'm just gonna loom up.
right here. I'm gonna grab the first two green ones that go in this direction. And then the last two green ones. Go inside and keep looming up. Now we can go ahead and start closing it up from this direction and this direction, okay? Right here. done with one cheek let's go ahead and put a slip knot I'm gonna use a jelly band okay and I'm gonna go through the side slip it through and then put this one over and then there's a slip knot now you can go ahead and take it out start from the edges first Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my peg back on there. <laughs> all right, so there is one cheek. Let's go ahead and shape it. All right, so obviously this is gonna be the one for this side, right here, okay? Because it's making that shape. Now we're gonna do the other one. And we have to do it the complete opposite way that we just did this one, okay? Because we don't want to have the same ones looking all over, okay? All right. Start again. Double bands. Right there. And going backwards this time, we're going to do green down here three times. Now the opposite direction, we're going to do green twice. And then white. Okay, so double bands again. Okay. Now three times over with green. And over here, three times over with white, but we're going to cap them, remember? Okay, now we're going to fill in the middle. All right, so this first one, of course, is going to be with green. We're going to go across four times. That's four. Next one, one squid green. And then you're going to go across four times with white. Uh, 
Now the middle five times wet white. And then four times wet white. Sorry, five times. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Five times red white, and then the next one's gonna be four times red white. Okay. All right. Now to close it up, we need one green. Cap it. It's gonna go there. Another green again. Cap it. Go there. A white one. Cap that one. This direction again. White. Cap it. There go. White. Cap it. White. And cap it. Now you need a cap band right here four times in white. All right, time to add our triangles. So again, first one's gonna be in green, this direction. Now starting down here, we're gonna grab one in green and then in white. Right there. Okay, again in green. And then white. White again. Okay. Now remember at this stage we you know, we started flipping our triangles, but because this is the complete opposite, we're not gonna switch them until we get to this stage. So keep going. That same direction. You're gonna need a white one. These are two white triangles on this row. then a green one and two white ones on top of that that's one that's two again two white ones right in the middle and then a green one two white white actually no at this point we're gonna start flipping them okay so let's go ahead and put our flipped over triangle just like that and then two white above that one okay now white ones are the last ones White, white, white. I'm just realizing I probably did it the opposite, but it doesn't really matter. Whatever, <laughs> it's still gonna come out the same way. Let's go and start looming.
I'm just gluing all of them up first, and then I'm going to do these last, okay? You know where to do those last. Also, remember not to loom the triangles. You're going to go through them. To move to the side. Now we can finish up. done best way to check of course is to turn it to the side everything has been loomed everything's getting caught there's nothing that is left out grab your slip knot again I'm using a jelly take it off your loom All right, stretch it out. Now you can see your shape. So you see it's starting to curve in there. So it came out good, awesome. There's both of our cheeks. Hide those green ones, okay. All right. You should have this and this so far, okay? All right, of course you're gonna have your shoes, all right? And your little shell. All right, so that's all that we have right now. Okay, now we're gonna go and start connecting um, some parts, but actually we need the back part of, of course. So we're gonna do the back part of Yoshi's head with the spikes and next okay let's go ahead and get that set up right now okay so now that we have our cheeks done we're gonna go ahead and connect these together right and then we're gonna do the spikes All right so first thing we're gonna need some green ones so for this part, it's going to be a little bit difficult, okay, but let's try to make it the best we can. We're going to need to put two bands, okay, double bands again, down here. We're going to go down four times. Now we need to create the arrow on top. So once this way, and this way. Okay. Now we need to go down 
twice. Sorry, three times on both sides. That's three, so now the top part. Close it up. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and put our holy bands. One up here. Okay. One down here. Another one right here. The next one we're actually going to be putting, but with these on it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and grab one right where you put your slip knot on. You're going to go ahead and put your hook through the hole. Make sure it's being caught where the slip knot is at. Grab the next one. I'm just grabbing it from the front to the back, okay? And the next one. Uh, there we go. Okay. So once you have all of them put on your hook, you're going to grab two bands. So, you're going to slip it through all of these. Be careful you don't catch any other bands. Okay. Just put it back on your hook for now. Okay. And we can go ahead and take out these already because they're just going to get in the way. It's best to take them off right now. Uh, let me use another hook. Okay, and last one. Alright. Now that it's on that, you're going to do the same thing for the other one, okay? Make sure that they're in the same direction, okay? So they're both the same direction, so I'm going to grab that one and put it through. I want to make sure it's in there correctly, okay? Next one. Last one. I'm missing one, so let me do it again. There we go. Okay. Oh, keep forgetting. <laughs> I just put that one on there. Okay, hold on. Um, so what we are supposed to do is... Yeah, the best thing to do right now is just go ahead and use another hook instead. So, I'm going to do it this way instead. 
we're going to have one upside down, one right side up. And that one, you're going to go with your hook on this side, okay? So the opposite way that we went through with the other one. off now Still hard, even though I have nails. <laughs> Both in the same direction, but our hooks are like clashing. So you can go ahead and put this end on that hook, and I can actually slip it through. I want this to fall, so I'm gonna do it this way. Just through those, through those. Through those and through those. Okay, there we go. Now they're both on there. Let's go ahead and we're gonna put it right across on this one and then connect it there. Okay, so first we're gonna put this one here. And then this one there and you can separate them like that for now okay because you're not gonna need to find your way okay all right so now we can go ahead and put a cap band here four times around and loop it Now you're going to go ahead and loop this all the way up. Make sure you go in here and grab the bottom too. Okay. Now you can go ahead and do one side. Okay, and go. Now the other side. Okay. All right. I'm going to need a slip knot there, and I'm going to use the green color for this one. Because I may or may not leave it there. All right. Go ahead and take it off. Just seen them like that because they're gonna be 
placed on after to the top of the head okay so as you can tell they're coming apart like this so what I did last time was I put a c-clip in the middle or if you want you can go ahead and put a band right across right around everything it's up to you so you can do something like this but if you don't want that band to be showing then of course you can go ahead and just put a c-clip instead so here's how you do it go ahead that band that's clearly right there in the middle I'm gonna go ahead and clip it and this band that's right there in the middle I'll clip that one too now they're being jointed together okay and they're gonna stay like that all right and that'll be the top part right here we're gonna go ahead and connect it the very very top later on okay let's go ahead and do our spikes now so for the spikes we're gonna be needing orange and here's how you do it okay I'm going to do two bands right here. Okay, and then continue down with two bands. The last part, you're going to need three bands. Now right here, you're gonna need one band, cap it, and, no, sorry, I'm doing this backwards, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is where you need three bands, okay? Three bands right here. I was doing it backwards, I'm sorry. So now, again, three bands, okay? Right there in the middle. Two bands. Right there. Two bands. Right here. Two bands. Right here. One band. Cap it. one band, cap it, and close it up. Two bands, right here, one band, cap that one. Let's put our holding band. One band, cap it, put it there. One band, cap it. And that's it. Now a cap it right here four times. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and loom that. Now you can go ahead and put your slip knots.
Here, I'm gonna take it off. one of your spikes okay right there okay you need three of these so you're gonna make two more all right and once you have those three then you should have all the pieces and now we just need the back and we're gonna connect them all together all right. so on the next section I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to be able to do on um, the back part and then the connector